So we've created a view called QOD that has in it a question and answer based on the date, based on the current date. So it's the current question and answer that we have here. And you'll notice in the view, every time there's an answer, there's also a question. It repeats the same question over and over again. But in an actual page, we would only want to see the question once and all the multiple answers we would want to see listed there. So we're going to create this page called qod.php and uh, that way it'll give us the, the question and the possible answers. Before we do that, I'm going to just put in the index.php page another qod.php here, a link to the question of the day, just so we have that all set. Now on the question of the day, it's going to look fairly similar to the other pages we already have. We link to the connect page, we link to the functions page, we call the connect, and then we're going to have this display QOD parentheses dollar sign con, so we're sending our, our connection to there. What's that going to look like? Well, it's going to be in the functions.php page that we're going to add the display QOD. That's going to begin, of course, like all functions with the word function, the name of the function, the parameters needed, and the open and close curly brace. We begin with the SQL, select question, comma, answer from QOD. Of course, there may not actually be a question today. That's a whole other issue. But I'm going to prepare that SQL statement and execute it. Store the result and bind the result to Q and ANS. Q for question, ANS for answer. Now the first question, the next thing I'm going to do is look for the number of rows. I'm going to create a variable called num of rows that's equal to dollar sign statement STMT minus greater than num underscore rows. That will tell me how many rows are in the result set. It's, in, it's important because if the number of rows are greater than zero, then that means I've got a question of the day. If the number of rows is equal to zero, then there's nothing really for me to do. So I'm only going to do something if the number of rows is greater than zero. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to fetch the first line. Why just the first line? Well, because I want a, that question to appear once. So it says, echo in quotes, question of the day. And then you see the dollar sign Q. That's the first result that it gets. BR just gives me a line break. And then I echo the answer and another line break. So I've got just the first question. Then I'm going to put a while statement. While statement fetch, that is the first answer. Um, while statement fetch, it's going to get all the rest of the answers. I'm going to ignore all the rest of the questions because they're all the same. So it's going to echo all the rest of the answers. But I'm going to change that. Instead of being uh, with a BR at the end, I'm going to put an LI to slash LI. That's a line item, or a list item actually, um, that will appear. And uh, before, I do, before I do that though, I have to put the UL for unordered list and a slash UL to close that out. So that's what gives the, the appearance of the little dots in front of every answer. That's why we see all the dots here in front of every answer. 